I think there's this continual process of alignment in looking at what you're doing, looking at the intent behind it, looking at your gifts, looking at you know, your purpose and your passion and making sure that these things are all alive. You can go through life and you're basing it off of your, your gifts and and the best example I can give is this guy I interviewed one time on my podcast, uh, played a little bit in the NFL, incredible guy. And, you know, he, he was gifted at sports. And so he was operating out of those gifts and, and football happened to be the, the main focus there. But there was an alignment issue. And when he got to the NFL, things started to crumble around him. And it was because his intent was different at that point. Right. His passion was different at that point. And I'll never forget when he said this line on the podcast, it just like, just hit me. He said, man, I realized ultimately that I had gotten what I wanted, but I didn't want what I got. I knew that while I was in the NFL, that I, like I was self-destructing. Yeah. Like here I am in the middle of my childhood dream and I'm, I'm literally showing up to practice hot from the night before. Yeah. And I'm just self-destructing. Um, you know, I woke up one morning and I said, oh my God, like, if something doesn't change and change soon with me, it's, it's I'm done. Mm -hmm. that's so and, and that's what happens when, when you're just following these things from years back, but you're not constantly aligning and making sure there's an alignment there. But to me, what this boils down to, I believe in our society, we have an epidemic of opportunity entitlement. And the problem with it is the higher level performer you are, the less immune you are to it. Yeah. Because if I know I can operate at, at this level, but my current opportunity only has me in this type of career or mm -hmm. this type of whatever environment, there's an entitlement issue there. Yeah. You cannot sit on the sidelines and wait for something to come to you. You have to put in insane amounts of effort where you're at and it will create more opportunities. And I think that's where so many people are that are watching this. They're in a situation and they feel like, man, this is not what I'm supposed to be doing. And so it creates this friction inside yeah. them, this, this almost like this storm inside them. that's like, I'm not supposed to be doing this, but I, I'm, I'm supposed to be trying my best. Like, I'm, this is not what I'm supposed to do, but I'm supposed to put in the most effort imaginable into it that creates friction there. But to understand that what you're supposed to be doing will never come until yeah. you go all in where you're at hmm. is very requisite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it is a prerequisite. And it may be as it may be one of those tests. And okay, I, I'll give you this if you show me you can handle this well, like to kind of the, you know, add to whom much is given much is required, right? Like, I'll give you little and make sure you can handle that. Then we'll yeah. give you more and make sure you can handle that. Then we'll give you more. I think there's so many people out there right now, especially in, in our generation, that that they think that they're supposed to instantly go here. Mm. Not realizing that it's a it's a pro like so many people I see coming out of high school, coming out of college, thinking they're supposed to be making what their parents are making, not remembering that it's their parents 40 years to get there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs>